Mariah has given fans somewhat more understanding into how their fight started in her touchy new auto history the significance of Mariah Carey. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Mariah Carey has uncovered the genuine purpose for her well-established quarrel with individual genius Jennifer Lopez. In a tell-all diary, Mariah has revealed insight into their stressed relationship and tossed in a savage dig, only just in case. Mariah has provided fans with a little more insight into the real reason their battle began, despite the fact that the feud's origin story has been circulated for years. Carrie has asserted Matola tried to upset the progress of her 2001 film Sparkle and the film's going with lead single Loverboy, and the plot included Lopez's melody I'm Genuine. Mariah Carey, won't keep down, in tell-all personal history covering celeb fights. The vocalist composed, quite a bit of what turned out badly with Sparkle drove back to Tommy. He used all of his power and connections to punish me because he was angry about the divorce and my departure from Sony. Mariah said that the movie didn't win any awards, but she partly blames it on her ex-husband, whom she had divorced three years before Glitter came out. The megastar blamed Matola, and his associates, of obstructing the film's soundtrack and taking out her standees and special things from record shops. It was basically impossible that he would permit me to have an enormous accomplishment in the wake of leaving him and Sony. He wouldn't let me or Sparkle. Mariah claims that the lead single Loverboy featured a sample of the Yellow Magic Orchestra song Firecracker because J-Lo was involved in its production. Carrie has guaranteed that Sony raced to make J-Lo's single I'm Genuine, remembering an example of firework for it subsequent to learning the track had been utilized in Loverboy. Despite the fact that she never alludes to her adversary by name, Carrie charges in her book, that didn't be ignored by Sony leaders and spies she composed of involving firework in Loverboy. Subsequent to hearing my new melody, utilizing a similar example I utilized, Sony hurried to make a solitary for one more female performer on their name whom I don't have the foggiest idea. She expresses that Yaw was working with her on a tune before Motola became involved and wound up teaming up with JLo on I'm Genuine. Mariah claims her ex called, his chief Irv Gotti, requesting that him and Yaw team up on a two-part harmony for a similar female performer's record, passing on me to hurry and revamp the tune. Carrie proceeded to make a savage dig at JLo, composing, what's more, after all that poop, Loverboy, turned out to be the top of the line single of 2001 in the US. I'm genuine. The unstable scraps let out of the book come after it was uncovered the fur is set to fly as Mariah gets her hooks into celebs, and her own family, in her new collection of memoirs. Previously, Mariah has demanded that JLo doesn't exist, and when Madonna said she would, rather commit suicide, then sing hits like Mariah's Forever Be My Child, the diva hit back and said, since she was popular when I was in 7th or 8th grade, I haven't paid attention to Madonna.